Hello everybody. Critical mass right here. Jonathan with Peanut. Peanut, say hi. Hello. Okay, you can go now. I went there at the beginning of the episode because it just made it seem kind of cool. So it's uh, August 6th. Just watch, watch the exciting USA, uh, the end of the USA, uh, Canada World Cup. Yeah, I, that handball against uh, US, iffy, but header at the end, beautiful. Beautiful. And A.B. Wambach scares the shit out of me. I think she kicked my ass. I really would. If I were, you know, I would have messed with her. Actually, a lot of the women on that field, there was a girl for uh, Canada that was just bowling over everybody. I would have not ever messed with her. They kind of scared me. And they hit with such ferocity. It's like watching gazelles. No, it was really cool to watch, you know. I'm glad, you know. Hey, USA, man, that's where I'm from. Go Tar Heels. Go Tar Heels. Love my Tar Heels. So I, I want to get back on track. Um, had an interesting uh, conversation today on texting because women don't like talking on the phone anymore. They just love texting. Well, texting gives me a lot more material to work with because they seem to be more unfiltered with the text than they do when you talk to them in person, which is all right. Hey, you know, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. You want to text? Feel free. Feel free. So this uh, girl from a uh, foreign country, I, I guess, uh, well, she's over here. And um, I told her I was a personal trainer. And she, of course, asked, hey, you know, can I get training sessions? And I'm like, yeah, sure, we haven't met. I don't know you, anything about you, but sure, I'll give you some training sessions. And then she goes, is it for pay or free? Because they always ask. They always, oh, you're a trainer, so you're trained me. Oh, you probably don't like girls that are this or that. Well, you know, you don't know me. You don't know what I like. And if I'm talking to you, it means I like you. That's just common sense, in my opinion. If, if I'm talking to you, that means I kind of want to get to know you better. That's just me. Call me crazy. It's common sense, I guess, you know, but... You know, hey, they all think differently, I guess. So, you know, we got, let me get back on track that, you know, so she said, you know, training, is it pay for free? And then I said, do you have any money? And she goes, no. So then why do you ask if it was pay or free? Since you don't have any money, why are you asking me to train? You haven't met me. And I was going to get into the whole, well, what are you going to barter? What can you give me? You know, and then, you know, she'd take it the wrong way. Think I'm thinking something perverted and I was being serious, you know, maybe a couple meals. I don't know, whatever. You know, well, maybe she can dance. She can work out in a bikini. But, uh, which brings me to an interesting point about training. Um, I've been training a long time, uh, 12 years. And there was once a guy, I once put an ad, uh, I, was pu I put an ad in a gay magazine. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, gay guys have a disposable income. And disposable in income means that they'll spend money on a trainer if they need one. And, you know, there's a lot of vanity in the gay community. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you're trying to look good, feel good, whatever. And I put an ad up once, and uh, I got a lot of weird phone calls. But one of them, the guy asked if I did, uh, if I worked out nude with his, their clients. And I'm like, nude with my clients? And I'm like, I don't, what are you talking about, nude with your clients? And he goes, well, you know, with my old trainer, uh, we used to do the workout naked. And I go, you know, so, you know, I, I think I actually was talking, I emailed the Oak, a client of mine who who, uh, and he, who happened to be gay, and I said, do you ever hear anything about this? And he goes, no, no, I don't. So I was trying to be nice, you know. I, I, uh, the guy was emailing, I emailed him, I go, listen, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, I don't train naked, and, you know, I understand, you know, um, you know, maybe it's a thing in the gay community or whatever. He goes, oh, I'm not gay. And I was like, okay. So it kept going back and forth, and then he asked how much I would charge, and I said... 250, and he answered yes right away. So I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but I didn't do it. And I needed the money at the time. I mean, I always need the money, but I just was like, I couldn't do it. And uh, I also had another situation one time where a guy, people were calling me for body work. One guy, I, you know, I was living with my, uh, with an ex, and I got a phone call at like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. The guy needed body work. He asked if I could come over. I go, well, I'm kind of living with someone. He goes, really? I really have a lot of tension. I need some body work done. And he goes, money's no object. And, you know, I was just like, well, I kind of live. And I, I, it, was just, it was just creepy. And I would get sometimes, I, I did get clients out of the site, the, uh, the gay magazine site. I put it on. But I got some really interesting phone calls, you know. You know, money, one, guy call, one guy, 5 o'clock in the afternoon was like, uh, I have a couple hours to kill. And I'm looking for a trainer. So maybe you can come on over and, uh, you know, come over now. I go, well, you know, it's kind of last minute. You know, it's going to cost extra. He goes, oh, money's no object. And I was like, Oof, what does that mean? I didn't go. Actually, I, it was more interesting the dealing with this stuff, and I guess I'm just thinking about it now, now that I have this platform 
on my in my beautiful humble studio here in uh, New York City. So that's something I wanted to talk about. So back, back, back. Let's backtrack a little bit to the girl I was talking about today, the girl with the free training. So, you know, it's just interesting with texting how people just open up to you to a way that maybe you don't want to even know about. So I want to read what she wrote to me, uh, what she wrote to me. So it went from, you know, saying she had no money for, she asked if it was paid, train, you know, she asked for training, well, would you train me? And she goes, well, is that going to cost me, is it free or do I have to pay for it? I said, well, do you have any money? She says, no. And then I asked her, is she working out? She goes, well, she, I haven't worked out for almost a year. I said, oh, well, oh, I said, okay. That's all I did. answered, okay, which led to her response saying, but uh, uh, I stopped my job now, it's been two months ago, you know, and now I'm going to court to fight with the father of my kids, uh, to take my kids, uh, she, I guess that she's trying to bring, she, they're overseas, she's trying to bring them back to America from wherever they are, and she has to find a job, school, and, uh, school for her kids, and a new apartment. Oh, and also to top all this off, she's living in Connecticut now. So first off, she goes, will you train me? And she just thinks I'll come to Connecticut. She guess she doesn't, she was, really doesn't know America that well. So she's a little confused about what's going on here in America, you know, the distance. And uh, so I'm going to do a free workout and go to Connecticut. Yeah, I do that all the time, you know, just free workouts all over the place, you know. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska, yeah. I'm a, I could be there Thursday morning at uh, 7 a.m. I'll catch a uh, red eye or something. So, boom. Okay, that wasn't that funny. But, uh when she said that to me. So, so this is a woman, this is a woman on a dating site. Uh, and so here she is, she's in a custody battle for her kids, you know, from overseas, uh, on a dating site, looking to meet somebody. And uh, yeah, um, that's really great. That's the kind of woman I want to date. I think kids are, what, uh, nine and seven, whatever. You know, whatever. So she's got two kids, custody battle, overseas, looking for a apartment, looking for a job. And I'm like, oh, this is the kind of woman I want to date. This is what I want. I'm in love. Sign me up. So I'm like, good luck with all that. I said, you got a lot in your plate. She goes, yes, I do. I go, good luck. That's the luck. Sayonara. So that's what happened. And uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, because it's been an interesting weekend. I, uh, I met somebody who was very uh, selfish in the selfish in, with our time together. And uh, I was like that. I was like someone who just is like, it's all about me. You kind of back off and it's all about me. And then I got this weird vibe in the middle of it too, that something was weird. Like all of a sudden she goes, I'm going to go, uh, do you have a towel? And I was like, yeah. I, I, I just thought she wanted to, you know, clean up a little bit. I don't know what she wanted to do. And uh, boom, she's uh, getting dressed and ready to go. And then uh, saying I had a great time, which I did too, because I love just like, you know, just hanging out and, you know, suffering from a case of backed up, being backed up. I always like being backed up and nothing, nothing happening on my end. I just love giving, 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 and, you know, it's got to be a two-way street. That's what I think, you know, because um, if not, then what do we have? We have nothing. It's got to be a communication between two people. They have to work together and decide that we want to do this together. We want to make this work. We want to be one big union. So yeah, I feel like I'm losing steam, and uh, I think I got a little bit of my point across, and I want to thank you all, and uh, have a great August uh, 6th, is that today's date? Signing off, have a great one. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.